Hello, I'm Perry Smith with your SCV News Break for Wednesday, May 28th. A Palmdale lawsuit could be a bad harbinger for the lone Santa Clarita Valley entity seeking to challenge a lawsuit about an alleged California Voting Rights Act violation. An appellate court panel rejected the city of Palmdale's appeal of a previous ruling, which says that the city's at-large elections are illegal and calls for the city to go to districts. It also disallows the results of the city's last election. The Santa Clarita Community College District, which oversees tens of thousands of local students at two College of the Canyons campuses, starts trial Monday in a case challenging a lawsuit against the same lawyer. The community college is being represented by Nielsen Merksimer, the same law firm that represented Palmdale. The state senate okayed a bill sponsored by Santa Clarita Valley Superintendents Wednesday, taking aim at charter school law. With a 21-12 vote, California senators sent a law to the assembly that would make it illegal for a school district to charter a school outside of its district boundaries. The bill was inspired by Einstein Academy's efforts to charter in the Acton Aguadulce Unified School District. A several-hour discussion led to a delay for a new cell phone facility atop a hill in Valencia during Tuesday's City Council meeting. Dozens of Northbridge residents came to City Hall to protest an AT&T cell tower. They say the 47-foot-tall fake eucalyptus tree will diminish property values to no real benefit. That's because, according to the residents, there is no service gap in the coverage area. They even brought their own videos to show it, but AT&T disagrees. The Santa Clarita Planning Commission has already approved the cell phone structure, which consists of the fake tree tower and a 200-square-foot supporting structure at its base. In a 4-to-1 vote, the City Council directed staff to draw up a denial letter, but also encouraged them to see if there were suitable alternatives. Bob Keller was the lone vote of opposition, noting that while he sympathized with the residents, the issues affected more than just Northbridge. Hungry guests lined up all day Wednesday to sample the thin, crispy crust of their own personally crafted pizza in Valencia. Pizza Rev is open for business today, but the team will be hosting a grand opening Thursday to coincide with a fundraiser to benefit the Castaic Animal Shelter. The suggested donation for your 11-inch custom-built pizza tomorrow is $8, and a portion of the proceeds will go to the shelter. General Manager James Gass says pizza lovers will have a chance to get their pizza for free this weekend. Sunday, we're actually having a, uh, a uh, Facebook, we call our Facebook Sunday. Uh, it is where uh, everyone uh, who likes on Facebook We'll bring in proof that they liked us on Facebook, and from 5 to 10 p.m. on Sunday, it's free pizza. The Postal Service Processing and Distribution Center in Castaic will open a new passport office this weekend. The new 2,000-square-foot office will offer extended hours Tuesday through Saturday for a convenient one-stop shop to apply for a passport. Walk-in hours are from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. Tuesday through Friday and 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. on Saturdays. Last year, the U.S. State Department issued 13.5 million passports and passport cards. The Postal Service recommends that travelers start the passport application process several months before a planned trip. Turning to weather, clear skies and highs in the mid-80s Wednesday in Santa Clarita. Overnight lows are expected around 56 degrees with clear skies and light winds. Temperatures will dip a few degrees as we head into the weekend, with highs in the upper 70s expected by Saturday and Sunday. That's all for now. For more Santa Clarita news, log on to hometownstation.com or scvnews.com. Thanks for watching. I'm Perry Smith.